In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use sparklines in Office 2010. Sparklines are little graphs that you can put inside cells and they're there to help you visualize what's going on in a big block of data like this one. So I might want to put a sparkline here that represents all of this data here. So to do that, I just select where I want it to go and I go to the Insert tab and Sparklines. Then I can choose the style that I want. So if I click on Line, then I'm going to get a line graph. For the data range, I'm going to just drag over the data that I want and then click OK. And then this is a little line graph of this data on this row here. Now that I've done this, I've got this Sparkline Tools tab that has appeared because this cell containing a sparkline is selected. And these are the three types, so I picked line, but now I'm going to change it to a column. And then I can use this drop down to choose between the various colors and styles. These boxes here, these check boxes, um, enable you to mark high points and low points. So I'm going to check both of those. And you can see the high, high point is shown there in a different color. And then if I go back to this styles, then I could choose something like that so that the high point and the low point really stand out. For even finer control of the marker color, I can use this. And then I can choose the exact color that I want to mark the high points and the low points. As it is, it's on the same color, but I could change it and have a different one for, for the high point and the low point. If you want to change the data that any particular sparkline represents, you can use this edit data. So just go to this and then you get back to the original dialog that you had and you can just re-drag over the data that you want to be included. For this spreadsheet, I want to have a sparkline for each, each row, but I don't have to go and make a new one dragging over the data each time. I don't need to repeat that process. I can just um, click on the sparkline and go control C to copy it and then select everywhere where I want there to be a sparkline and then do control V. And there we go. And there the formatting has stayed the same. It's applied to them all. These ones look a bit funny just because the value for each of those is the same. Another powerful data visualization tool is this conditional formatting and you can use that to make your data appear in a way that's easier to interpret than just the numbers. So, for example, if I select all of this and use data bars, if I just hover over that, you can see that each, each value is represented by, by a bar. So, in this example, the largest value in the row is 150, so that's a full size bar. And then all the other bars, they are the size is relative to 150. So the 71 is about halfway of 150. So both of these tools make your data a lot easier to interpret than just the block of figures. I hope you find them useful.